Hey, mic check, mic check. Motor Masters podcast, I was made of course. Of course, me, I got a special guest. I got Miss Raven S. Crumley, right? Mm-hmm. All right, how you doing? I'm good. All right, uh, uh, so I know I had put a, a clip out on Instagram um, from a clip that, that I haven't put out yet, but somebody tagged you. I think it was uh, Evan Dansby, mm-hmm. right? Um, shout out to him. He had a good podcast, too. Um, but he, he, he tagged you, in it and then you said you'll do it. And I want to say, man, first, it, is, it was super hard to find people because everybody said yes at first, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't know. It's like the follow-up. Like nobody, like, respond back. And I guess I can't, I'm not trying to – I don't want to put, like, pressure on y'all to say this is what it is, but I don't have to get so many messages. Mm-hmm. But I'll be feeling like they, they wouldn't respond after a while. Like, they respond here and there, and then they just stop. Yeah. So I was like, all right. and I ain't take it personal. I know y'all busy, so I'm like, maybe they're just busy, whatever. Cool. Cause I've been trying to get this podcast done since like since like December. I hit somebody up in December, like, yo, can we do that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And then I guess y'all just get busy, 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 busy. So when you say you'll do it, I said, right, cool. And then you messaged and you said you'll do it. So I was like, perfect, cool. When you say you do, I was like, nah, I heard this before. I don't know if I'm gonna say anything. So when you messaged me, I said, like, okay, she's serious for real, for real. Yeah. So first of all, um, clap it up for you. Shout out to you for coming to the show. So um, shout out to you, man. Um. So I want to start, I always start my podcast off with just asking, like, the question about personal life. So first, tell us, like, tell us, like uh, where you from? Like, where you was born and raised? Like, where, where you from? Um, I was born in Augusta. <laughs> okay. Oddly. At uh, St. Joe's, I think it's now something else, though. Like, University or something. But, um, yeah, my people from Burke County, so, yeah, I'm from the county, though. Oh, you from Burke County? Yeah. What, what, what was it like growing up in Burke County? I hear a lot of Burke County stories. You ever like mow the lawn or like push the nah. cow or something like that? Nah. <laughs> 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 what you mean you push a cow? But <laughs> nah, I ain't never did that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because they say, you know, Burke County. So but I'm not from here, but when I came down, like it's it's a few uh outskirts that you hear about. So yeah. you hear about Jefferson County, you hear about Burke County, you hear about um it's from Washington County. And y'all good in football. And the and the idea behind that is that y'all be I be pushing like animals and stuff like cows, horses. I'm not sure if it's true. I, ne- I ain't never lived there before, so you can tell me. Like, nobody nah, did that before. I ain't never pushed none of that. <laughs> you know, so you never been driving like see somebody like lift a cow up or lift a horse up? No. Nah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's country. Don't get me wrong. We a little country, but we ain't that country. So y'all not lifting? Y'all not lifting horses? Nah, they they nah. are out there though. Yeah. Okay. I okay. mean, we know what to do with them as far as take care of them, raise them, stuff like that. But and so then I, that I used, going on out there. I used to like eating at Country Boys in the South in Wayneboro, and it got the steak. I was like, maybe they. Going to find cows every day and just cutting them up or something. So. You only had country boys. You never go to Taylor's. I did go to Taylor. I I, I want crave barbecue. I like the steak. I like the I, I love steak. That's what I like. But country boy had the yams too. Yeah. Taylor brother had the yams. You know what I'm saying. So you can't they find yams know, everywhere. I think sometimes. Well now country boys. Is, I mean, it's, <laughs> they're not the same. So I don't know. Like it's like it's a it's a whole different staff there and the food is different. But the steak still tastes good. Yeah. Um. Okay. So like, in, in Wayne Bros, tell me like, what what what's some things out there to do? And I ask this question because I have had guests on from Waynesboro. I don't know what's out, what to do out there. When I go out there, and I, I know I got a Walmart to you know, I put up for y'all. Have Walmart. Yeah, we got Walmart. Uh, yeah, I got a Walmart. I yeah, got a uh, a Zaxby's, right? Yeah. Is a Zaxby's out there? I don't know. At that, I don't, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of other little restaurants. And whatnot, it's a um, a cookie spot, right? A cookie spot out there. A cookie like spot. Well, I don't know. It's some little small restaurant you had like it's a chicken or cookie something like that. I thought or, or sweets. I ain't got a spot there that sells sweets. Oh, you talking about Pineland? Yeah, yeah, the there bakery. You go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. got that down there too. But like, and I don't mean like eating. I just what y'all do. Like, like you grew up there, so what y'all do? Like, what's a, what's a good day? What's a fun day? What y'all did? I mean, me growing up, I kind of was a tomboy for a little while. So. <laughs> you for a little while, what you mean? Outside, I'm outside playing football with the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that, playing with my cousins, fighting with my cousins. That's what we did in the county. So, all right, so in your, in your younger life, right, your early life, so you would say you kind of was tomboyish, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, How was Raven back then? And so you tomboyish Raven, so what you did, like, did you ever think that you would, like, ever dress up, get pretty, or did no. you just feel like you would play sports all your life? You were going to be loving basketball. Yeah, I kind of thought I was going to be a little thuggish. <laughs> I ain't get girly to like, I started talking to like my first, I got my first like little light in a boy mm-hmm. type thing. Do you, so and I'm just asking, I don't know, but do you think like when you were younger and you and you playing and you and you being town boys like that, do you think like your elders or people around you would be like, she don't like girls when she get out there or like she going to be too rough? Nah, I don't think they ever thought that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah. <laughs> like, they knew I wanted to be like my daddy, so I wasn't, like, soft yeah. type thing. So, yeah, but no, I don't think they ever thought so, that. I was cute. So <laughs> talk about talk about that for a minute, then, like, your, your dad. What's your parents like? Yeah, you live with your mom and dad. You knew both of them. Like, what was your um, household like? I live with my mama. I ain't live with my daddy. My daddy um, went to jail when I was two. Okay. Did you, did you know him, or he went yeah. just, like, a long time? Yeah, I knew him. He got out when I was in, like, third grade, I think. Okay, okay, okay. So what, eight years old? Yeah. Okay. So how was what, what was that like? Like your dynamic? Did you uh was you a daddy's girl? Was you a mama's girl? Did you play both sides? Like cause most people, most some Definitely parents do that. Was a daddy's girl. Daddy's girl. <laughs> I wanted to be just like my daddy. I didn't care what it was. You know, he went to jail. I still thought the world of him. So. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I I I, I wouldn't take the jail part as you wouldn't be like him. But like, what he did? He played sports. Like, what did he do? Not not to go to jail. I'm not not like that. I'm not, not talking about that. I'm talking about like like what? Because you said you was like you said that they knew you were gonna be like your daddy. So he just was like a tough guy then, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Everybody okay. kind of looked up to him. He was kind of respected. So okay. I looked up to him. What? How how did that help you or hurt you or whatever in, in Waynesboro? Because everybody know that you was this person's daughter. So yeah. anybody bother you? Not bother you? Did you get protected? Did, were you like overly watched when you was outside and stuff like that? A little bit. Growing up, yeah, all his um, homeboys and whatnot kind of looked out for me growing up. Okay, that's what's up. That's good. That's good. That's what's up. So, um, like, you, so you, you live you live in Burke County all your life, so you went to high school out there and everything, too? Yep. So you didn't move down. You, you moved to Augusta now? Or you, I guess you live in Augusta? Said, yeah, Augusta area. Okay, so uh, what was you like in middle school? I mean, I don't know, because y'all got that one school out there, right? They think Burke County, I guess? Burke County yeah, Elementary, school. middle school, and then high school? I mean, we got two high schools. Oh, what's the other one? Uh, Edmund Burke, that one kind of like never heard a of private it. high school. Though. Okay. Like, so yeah, that's why y'all know about that. Yeah, I never heard of that. I, I, I've been there for <laughs> a little minute. Edmund Burke? Yeah, it's in the country. Black people go there? Some. Okay. You, you didn't go there though. You went to Burke nah, County. I went to the public school. What, <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what Burke County like for you? Yeah. What was high school life like? Cause that's important. It was straight for me. Like, um, I kind of switched. I, I got in a lot of trouble in school at first, but I think like sixth grade, they kind of put me in counseling for my attitude. No, fifth grade, they kind of put me in counseling for my attitude and whatnot. And then it was kind of like, you need to find something to do, little girl, like type thing with your attitude. And uh, I think they had made me try for cheerleading and I ended up making it. And after that, I got into cheerleading and I ended up cheering until I graduated. Okay, that's what, that, that, that makes sense. So, but I have to, I can't skip over certain things. So like, what your attitude? What was wrong with your attitude? You like to fight? Like, what, what was wrong with it? You just talked back? You just thought you was Yeah, hot I got shit. in trouble in school a lot. Like, you ain't listen? Nah. Why not? Like, I'm just curious. I just ain't care. <laughs> Why? So when you- when, I ain't feel like I had to listen. What your mom would say? What would your mom and dad say? You get in trouble in school. What they say when you get home? I mean, I got to show my mom, but at the end of the day, I, you going to get in trouble. You just going <laughs> to get just, in trouble. You just ain't care? <laughs> I was most scared of my daddy, but- I mean, at the same time, I knew he was in jail, so what are you going to do? What, what would he say? Like, did he call you? I mean, I'm pretty sure he called you and said, yeah, yeah. tighten up, but like. He had called and pushed and whatnot, and so, I straightened up. So was, what, did the cheerleading help you? And I'm asking that question because yeah. people that's going to watch this, right? And I know we, 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 we kind of vibing, but people going to watch this, and they got kids that's acting up in school, and they be thinking, like, what can I do? What can I do? Yeah. But you said you started cheerleading. Is yeah. that what changed, like, your attitude? Is it because yeah. you like cheerleading and you feel like you got in trouble, you have to stop, or? It just took your mind off being bad. That's what it was. Like, once you get on the chilling team, you can't get in trouble. Or you get put off. And it's like, oh, okay, I like this. So, yeah, if I want to keep doing this, I got to do the right thing. Yeah. Okay, well, that, I mean, that was good to know. So what did chilling bring for you? I know you said you are a tomboy at first. So, like, this was different, right? It's a, you, could, you, can't, you can, but, you know, it's harder to be a tomboy in chilling and outfit, I guess. Right. So, I had us straighten up by then. I was crazy enough, like, fifth grade. That's when I started talking to, like, my first boy because he stayed, like, upstairs. I stayed downstairs. No, I stayed upstairs. He stayed downstairs. Okay. Type thing. And we ride the bus and all that type thing. So, yeah. He kind of, like, called me out in front of everybody at lunch <laughs> one day because we haven't been in the same class at all. Like, he called me out in front of everybody. It was like, you so tomboyish. Like, I'm like a girl type thing. And I Damn. was, like, slipping <laughs> bears. <laughs> Like that, so I had straight up. <laughs> That's funny. So what you you try to come back correct like after a while, or you just try yeah. to change your stuff little by little? Well, yeah, like a little bit. Like he would call me out like, I don't know, back then, all the girls would eat everything in school with a fork. You know me, I didn't care. Pizza, I'm eating with my hands. Like, 
That's a pizza. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, then, you know, and he, yeah, he would call me out like, eat like a girl, bro. You eat like a pig. So, that's say. Funny. He must have liked you for real. Because when you're young, that's what happened. Like, people would crit- critique you a lot or, like, uh, yeah. bother you or tease you when they like you. Yeah. So instead of telling he like you, he wanted you to tighten up first. Like, hey, before I tell everybody I like you, let me you know, come here with a smile on your face. You know what I'm saying? Wear yeah, a dress. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, though. Basically. Um, so I, I, I do want to ask, like, just more about the high school on life. And I asked that question because a lot of times that shaped you. Um, so in high school, cheerleading wise. So what, you, just, you just cheerlead. You didn't do no, you wasn't on the dance team, wasn't on the band, uh, flag girl. I don't know these things. I'm just. Well, I ended up making captain for cheerleading in high school. Why was you the captain? Why, why you? Because I was the only one in my class on my te- on the cheerleading team. Like nobody else in my class wanted to do it. Oh, okay. So yeah, and I just had you know what I'm saying strive for it. I would help the uh, people who wanted to get on the team get on the team. You know, people who needed help on the team. What were you like as a captain? I asked that because I don't know. Like I watched Bring It On. I know some channel movies. Oh, we, were you like? I'm I was not, like that. You, you, you was like bitchy, like <laughs> yeah, especially basketball <laughs> season. Basketball season was my season, like yeah, we gonna take it there. <laughs> oh my god! So you was annoying, kind of like you was that you was that kind of that leader. Yeah. Did people like you in high school? Like, did you get what you liked, or were you popular? Were you uh, this life you hate on you? Like, what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, I guess uh, I ain't gonna say I was like 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 that, but ain't nobody have a problem with me. I ain't like talk to every, to people in the class type thing. I only talk to like to the dude I was talking to. I think because we in the same class. Like. Yeah. So you would you? I mean, so somebody else that would describe you would they say you would they say you were like uh, I don't, not uppity. I don't want to say that, but like snobbish. Would you snobbish? Like would you just not talk to somebody because you just was mm-hmm. a? No, I wasn't snobbish. Yeah. Were you mean? No. You wasn't mean in high school. I was just chilling. I was kind of like I was with my dude. All in high he, school, the yeah. same person. Yeah, the same okay. dude that got me right in fifth grade. <laughs> oh, wow, damn. Bro, you don't play no games. Huh? I got longevity out there. The same dude. <laughs> Clap it up for y'all. That's insane. That's a good story to have, though, I guess. I y'all together now? Nah. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, that's, that's our first every day. But <laughs> nah. Okay, there you go. Clap it up for them. Okay. <laughs> All right, clap it up for them. <laughs> Yeah, because it's always. I think it's, it's, that's a dope story that he tried to. And I guess you remember the story because y'all probably speak about it a lot. Well, y'all spoke about it a lot when y'all were together. Like you made me. I mean, uh, yeah, like you know. people from my city like know about it, and be like, "Dang, it's crazy." Y'all like end up together because y'all was like from that long. Like we went to our first prom together. Everything like he was uh, on the basketball team. I was truly just like, it just ain't work out though. Like we on beef though. We cool. Yeah. What what um what class are you like for graduation? Fourteen. Class? Okay, cool, cool. Oh, that's a year that was really good too. Damn, mm-hmm. yeah, twenty four. Yeah, that was good in for twenty fourteen. Okay, yeah, I know a little bit about Rodney County, a little bit, a little bit, not a lot. You know, just some, some. Yeah, um, we went to Dome and what eleven. So I, I hate to bring something up like this, but I just want to ask because I'm I, I'm thinking about Rodney County, so I have to ask you. Around this time, did, were you in school when that dude that was like a football player had got died in an accident? Were you in school then or no? Yeah, you talking about a snake? I don't know his name. I don't know. Yeah. It was over here somewhere, right? Wasn't it like down here somewhere? I could be tripping, but I know he was, and it was on his road where he was driving, and I guess he got in an accident. He died, got killed. He played, he played football though. Light skin guy, I don't know his name. Oh, light but, skin, no, that ain't a snake. I don't know what you talking about. Hmm. Well, you don't way, remember the class? No, nah, I don't. I don't. I, 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 yeah, I was in the school, so I, I don't know. I just remember it was, was it was a sad. Guy. Everybody was posting about it, so I know it was like a, he was a big deal. Must have been because he was popular. I don't think about it. But um, okay, so tell me about like at the high school, like like. I guess I'm, trying, I'm just trying to gear up to like, you know, now in life, but like, um, what was like at the high school? Did you want to go to college? Did you try to go to college? Not really? Was it not for you? Uh, you yeah, work? I tried to go to college. I ended up getting accepted in the East Georgia mm-hmm. type thing, but I ended up writing them and telling them I wasn't coming. Why? Why'd you write them? Why you just, why, why you just, why you just, why you just didn't go? Because <laughs> I had uh, found out I was pregnant with my first son like five days after graduation. Oh, damn. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll stop you. So you just never went after that? Yeah, I ended up going. I tried to go to college, like, a little after my son was born, but, like, I really didn't care for it. Mm-hmm. So, like, I gave myself a reason to drop out, and I didn't never go back. Okay. But then I ended up going to college again, and I dropped out. Well, I, I'm, I'm just curious, like, so what was that like? Because I guess this time you're 18, 17, 18, one of those, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, okay, 18. So what was, like, for motherhood that young, like, and what your what what did your parents say when you told them you was pregnant? Like, how was that? What was that like? Was they mad, upset? Nah, 
know, I think my my daddy was a little bit because by that time he was home, he just wanted me to be like have a decision yeah. more about it. But at the time when I found out, I was already like thirteen weeks, so it was like. I don't think I want to get rid of this person. Like, this is actually a person yeah. type thing. So, and also, you've been, you been with this dude since fifth grade. So yeah, it's kind of like. Yeah, my mama went upset. And his mama went upset either. Like, his mama kind of looked at it like, y'all been together so long, it was bound to happen type thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, they was upset. <laughs> but what, what was that like for you? Was it was it a struggle? Was it hard? Like, trying to uh, be that young, raising You had a good um, support system. Yeah, we was straight. Okay. So, and then after that, like, so what was life after that? Did you work? Like, did you ever, like, work, work? Like, try to get a, a like, a, a job? Yeah, or? I had calls in the jobs. I really didn't care for them, like. What about them, what about them didn't, didn't you like? I'm just curious. Talking on the phone all day, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's really annoying. Like, I'm still like that now, though. It's like, that's why I can't work in no call center. Like, it's annoying to talk on the phone all day. Do you talk a lot at all? Like, are you a talker? No. I, and I said that because I know off air, I told you, I was like, when I was speaking to people and trying to get people on who I wanted, your name came up a couple of times, but everybody was like, nah, but she don't be talking. She don't be talking. I don't think she's going to talk. So everybody was like, don't ask her. <laughs> so what's odd for me is like I went in, and I purposely not not saying what, what you are yet on purpose. I want them to watch. Anybody that don't know you, I want them to just watch. Mm-hmm. But I um I, I went and added people so that I could, you know, um, message them or, you know. But it's hard to do so because, like I said, you get caught up in the shuffle all the time. They think you're trying to holler. I'm telling like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I don't, no respect to anybody. I don't really care about that. I just want to, I want the content. Right. Um. So yeah, it's funny you said that you you know talking on the phone because everybody told me like she don't talk, and I don't know what y'all do because I'm not gonna lie. Every time I see you, y'all, y'all, y'all doing y'all, y'all jobs. I don't know what y'all. I don't know how y'all speak. I don't know y'all yeah. voice. I don't know nothing. Like the, this is my first time hearing your voice, and you messaged me by it's no audio to that. You know what I'm saying? I was wondering. I wonder if her voice is weird because it's gonna be odd if her voice. It's not weird. I mean, though. I'm slick. Wondering how it sounds. <laughs> here. No, nah, it's not weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. <laughs> but you you can't tell that you're not that you don't like. You, you, you're not long-winded trying to talk. You, like, get to the point. So I, yeah. that, that, that's dope, though, because most women aren't like that. They just talk a lot. So, um, okay, so is it safe to say, like, I guess uh, when you were, well, when you were younger, let me ask you that, when you were younger, what was some of your aspirations? What you, would you want to do? Like, I was talking about earlier, I was like, well, you know, it's odd because sometimes people wake up, I mean, or, or they grow up, and they'll be, um, they'll be drug dealers or they'll be murderers, whatever, gang bangers, whatever. But when they're younger, they want to be a cop. cop. Really backwards, really opposite, you know what I'm saying? Or they want to play sports and then yeah. they be drunks, fat drunks or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's different things they want to be, and then you it, it, it don't it don't it don't work when they get older. What are some things you wanted to be when you was younger? Um when I was younger, I just wanted to be like my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I wanted to do what he did. I can't say what he's doing. You yeah, know? I, I'm cool. But with I that. wanted to be just like my daddy, but because I, I really didn't know what I wanted to do mm-hmm. as far as like Book wise, like I feel like I had to do it just so it'll be the right thing to do. Yeah. And my mama would be quiet. So I would do it. But I didn't know why I wanted to do it or what I wanted to do. It's like, okay, but well, I'm gonna do it though. That's why I really just like didn't care about school the first time. Like yeah. it's like I'm in here for no reason. Cause I, this ain't making no money. I know this question on the tangent, but you said something that I have to ask. I'm just I'm curious now, like to explain the dynamic between the, the relationship between your mom and then you and your dad. I'm just curious on that. Mm, growing up, me and my mom was like real close, mm-hmm. um, but I was closer to my daddy. Now, I'm not as close to my mama. Uh, I'm somewhat still close to my daddy. Why? 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 I guess I'm like I'm curious. Like, what made you? What? What do you think attributed to you being closer to your dad when you when you live with your mom? Now, was it just because you was the time of your daddy's girl? You didn't have it. You know, I know sometimes it happens. I mean, the dad's not in the in in, in the household or whatever the it may be. You'll just you'll want that. So like, any small uh, interaction, you, you kind of um, it's, it it largens, you know, for you. But you see, mom every day, so it's like, uh, I see you every day. It's whatever. Is that kind of how I play, or you just like you just love everything about him? Like, what was it? I'm yeah, just curious. Like, yeah, I just thought the world of him. Like, he was a hero to me. Like, I used to carry his ID around in my pocket as a kid. Like, carry a picture around. Like, I got in trouble in school. I remember in fifth grade, the first week, you know how you come to school and you're yeah. supposed to show like who will tell you are type thing. And I remember showing them to who my daddy is proud, like all of his <laughs> in his jail jumps went all. And the teacher made a comment of, you know what I'm saying, oh, he was gonna be gay or whatever when he came out. I remember just picking up the dictionary and launching it, like dead in her head. And she ducked like right in time. 
But I got in trouble and I got suspended for it. Yeah, but she was out of pocket for saying that. That's kind of crazy. Right. Well, it's two things. Two things that are crazy. First of all, she's crazy for saying that, right? Mm-hmm. And you're not crazy because you're a kid. But did you tell your mom you were going to do that? Like, did you, did you say anything? No. Okay, somebody probably They called my mom and told on me first. <laughs> so I kind of got in trouble until I got <laughs> home. And I was like, I told her what happened. I still got in trouble because I was suspended, but. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not laughing at you now, but just think about like a ten year old coming and saying, "Look, this is my daddy, y'all." You know what I'm saying? Like, right? Like she had me and, and bragging. Up, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, he got me and my daddy up, up, and I don't play by him. I mean, it's it's way it's it's different ways to tackle that though. She could have just put it to the side afterwards, like you know, I would have just spoke to you like, "Yo, why, you know, hey, what, what what's your fascination with this?" Because that that's probably what you needed more than ridicule. You right. know what I'm saying? Because sometimes that make you even 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 worse as a behavior wise. Me definitely back then. That's I was crazy. A little bit. Or county kind of wild, so that's, that's how that's how you get in the county though. So teachers and area. Yeah, um, out there. <laughs> and I, I and I was curious about that because, like I said, you say you're not close now, you and your mom, right? Um, do you think it's, it's it's a clash of your personality versus her personality, or you just things you don't like about her, or things she don't like about you, or, or, it, or it was your bad attitude? It's both. She a Gemini, I'm a Taurus. Taurus are pretty true. They they normally cool though. We you are, but Gemini's are two faced. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but shit, everybody is technically, technically speaking, though. But technically, yeah, I, I, I get you. I get you. I get you. They can, they can get in your nerves sometimes. Some Gemini's. All right. Well, I mean, I, I guess I'm curious of that because, like I said, sometimes when you, when you, when mothers and daughters they have this strain on their relationship, sometimes that you just really can't explain. Right. But like, like say, so y'all don't speak at all, or y'all just hearing. Oh yeah. Them? I mean, we cool. We just ain't tight. Okay. Do do. So I, I guess I'm gonna get into like some of the stuff we're gonna talk about now. Um, so you said 2014, you graduated high school. So um, I thought I asked you off air. And so just, we're, in, we're introducing now. So when I went to this episode, I was trying to do, uh, you know, the nightlife episode. I'm, I call it that. Like, I want to talk about somebody from nightlife. But I wanted to do either a waitress or a bottle girl because those are two most popular um, positions in the nightlife to me. You know, I see y'all more than I see the the, the, the stars that be at the clubs or whatever. Like, I don't see the stars. I see y'all. Right. <laughs> Y'all kind of sell, <laughs> sell the club, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. Promote right now. You promoting, you know. what I'm saying, y'all say, come see yeah. me here, da da da. Yeah. So, um, you said that you kind of started in 2017, mm-hmm. right? So, kind of, um, like, take me through your journey a little bit. Like, was it something you was hesitant on doing? Not hesitant on doing? Did you care about any kind of backlash that you may or may not receive? And then also in 2017, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken what I'm hearing, Bottle Girls then and Bottle Girls now were like two different Bottle Girls. Definitely. So like explain the difference to me first. Um, Bottle Girl and back then, I didn't really care what nobody had to say, but at the same time, I was still a little shame because I was just starting out. And then at the same time, I'm, I'm a new mom. So yeah, yeah. I was a little shame. And then, of course, people where I'm from got something to say. Because I don't know, everybody always has thought it's stripping or something like that. So yeah, I kind of hid it a little bit as much as I could. Um, what else you guys think? But I'm saying like, cause the, so I'm here. I hear that it wasn't always like um, what it is now. Like, I know y'all y'all dance, y'all do all that. Yeah. Was that always what it was? Like you bring balls and dance, or was it something different before? Because I'm hearing it was like more. I don't want to say conservative, but I'm gonna say that word for 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 better words. It was it was. It was it was more conservative back then. That, but I think over time, social media, and then um, the clubs come back out, so you hit it harder after COVID. You open back up, you're trying to stand out. Then you got all these videos, and you got the the the, the Instagrams and stuff, and you got Atlanta that's that set a standard, so to speak. And then everybody kind of follow, you know, other other big cities. Mm. And I, I, from what I'm hearing, y'all started to do more, and I guess wear less clothes. Maybe I don't know, but it's just that's what I'm hearing. I don't know if I'm, if I'm false. You tell me I'm false, but that's what I hear. So is that true or no? It's always been the same. I mean, since I've been by the girl in, it's um, the dancing has always been the same. Okay. Type thing. Um, I know probably not like up in Atlanta and all that. They don't do what we do as far as like twerking. Okay. We actually okay. twerk when we bring our bottles. Like we shake. So they just walk but, out in Atlanta. Huh? They just walk out in Atlanta. Yeah, they kind of like shimmy side to side. Okay. Type thing. We'll do that. Okay, that's probably what I heard. Because I don't know, like I don't know, like this. That's people say like it's different here, it's different there. But I guess if you live in one place and you see uh, a bottle girl, you thinking that's that's what it is. So when you come somewhere else, you're like, why are they doing so much? Right. You know? And that's how it be too. <laughs> they be thinking we doing too much, but that's just how we get out down here. 
Okay, so I, I guess let me go back. So 2017, I don't really care where per se, but um, what what was, what was your mindset? Because you said you work other jobs and stuff like that. So what was the mindset like? Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this to try. Was it like? Because I, I think of, I'm not. I know it's not stripping. So I know that. But I think of movies like The Players Club, right? I like. I think it's a good movie because of not because she was stripping. Everybody that scene, of course, yes. But not because she was stripping. It's the fact that you got to see the decision making involved in it, the peer pressure involved in it. So was there any of that for you? Like, was it that you hung in the club a lot? So you always was in the club anyway, and you like, I'm here anyway, let me get paid. Was it that you was you cheerleader, so you, you you used to dancing anyway? I like to dance. Like, what was some of the decision making that went into like, I'm gonna try this? Um, yeah, basically, <laughs> I started off as a promoter in the club, being paid to promote the club, and then I would always dance in the club. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, we, the club started talking about bottle girls and having bottle girls. And, of course, my name came up because, yeah, everybody didn't see me dance and they just liked the way I dance. Yeah. So, so I joined e- the team. Even back then, because um, I know it said in your shirt, it said Curvy Crumley. Even back then, that's what they called you. You just kind of earned that name. Uh, nah, my brother actually gave me this name okay, uh, one day wild. just on Facebook. Give, 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 me the, give me the story of that one. <laughs> <laughs> my brother used to post, like, girls every week. Um on Facebook when they had, like, WCW going on. Oh, when Crush Wednesday, okay, yeah. Yeah, and um, this particular Wednesday, he finally chose me or whatever, and, yeah, he kind of gave me the name. It was like, a uh, shout-out to my sister, Curvy Crumb, just in third, and I was like, yeah, I like that. We're going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been using it ever since. Okay. Um. So, and, and you was ready about a girl at the time? Yeah. Okay. but No, wh- I don't even think I was about a girl really at the time. I think I was just still... I was just dancing Morton. in the club a little bit. So when, when you started, was, was it in Augusta or what you started in, yeah. in, in Waynesboro? Yeah, I started Augusta? off in Augusta. Okay, okay, cool, cool. So now, like, talk, talk to me about, like, how, uh, I guess you got, because you're a popular, I, I feel like, I don't know if you feel like that, but you feel like you're a popular person in that scene. How did you get there? Like, was it just uh, strictly from, like, dancing? Did you go to, like, multiple clubs or um, nightlife spots or just because you've been doing it, the longevity you've been doing it for? Um, yeah, probably as long as I've been doing it for. I have bounced around, like, just a little bit, but I've been, like, where I'm at now the, the longest. Okay. So, I know we spoke over here a little bit, too, and you were saying how you didn't always do this. Like, sometimes you took breaks or you stuck. I was, like, 2017. I didn't think of that because I, I didn't know this to be a thing in 2017. Maybe yeah. it was. I don't know. I thought this stuff just came out in 2021. I thought after COVID, it just... So, you know, we're going to yeah. have Bottle Girls now. We're going to have this. That wasn't a thing. That been, Bottle Girls been a thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, I started at what was S-Bar at the time. Okay. Um, Heard of that. Yeah. I was, but like, to come back to the part where I said people always had something bad to say, I would let people get into my ear from time to time. So, it was like, okay, well, maybe, maybe I should try something else. So, okay. yeah, I ended up getting a job at John Deere for a little while. I didn't really care for it, but I was, <laughs> I did it. And then, like, I ended up getting into, uh, like, health issues with it. Like, my eyes and my um, allergies was messing up, like, every day. So I would get sent home every day. And it was, like, to the point where I was like, oh, yeah, I don't care. I'll go back to the club type thing because I like fast, easy money. I was going to ask you, is it, hard to, is it hard to take that step back to, like, you working? It and, and we're going to get to that in a minute about the money you make, but it's fast money. It's not seven days, five days a week. You know what I'm saying? And then... Trying to work a full schedule five days a week, have to wait two weeks to get paid. You get paid every night. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's to go. You know what I'm saying? The money is to go. Yeah. Is it hard, like, trying to do that? Right. So even though you was hurt or you said you had health issues, how much did the, the, the pace of money affect your decision as well? Oh, yeah. I didn't like that. I got to wait every two weeks for no check type thing. And, and I'm taxes. all day. Like, my schedule at the time at John Deere was, like, 2 to 10. So it's like, by the time I wake up, I got to go to work. By the time I get off, everything is closed. <laughs> I'm too young. It's a no for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too young for that. Like, because at the same time, I had, like I said, I had a good support system growing up with my son. So my mama was still letting me live my life. So, yeah. but it's like, I don't got time to have no life because I'm at work. Yeah. I don't like that. Well, let's talk about the nightlife for, for a second. We'll get back to Bottle Girl in a minute. Um, Describe that for me. Like, what's the nightlife like? Like, because you, you was in it before you actually was a Bottle Girl. So, Talk to me about it from a uh, consumer standpoint. Like, is it like what makes people want to do it every night? Is it a? I hear that it's like um, 
I ain't gonna say a popularity contest per se, but I hear it's like it's a lot of competition going on every night. Like people like to prove they the man or prove that they the baddest or you know. Come out within the the clubs. Yeah, just within, just within the clubs. Yeah. You you mean like why I go to work every day? No, not working. Just as a consumer, like as you just go into an athlete party. Yeah. So like when you go, like people try to go out and be the baddest or try to go out and be the flyest or the, the throw the most money or. I don't worry, really worry about that. So you don't care about being the flyest. You go, would you go out with your head messed up? Nah. Not really? <laughs> I mean, I went, I didn't want to work with my hair looking a little crazy, <laughs> but it was at least decent. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, if it looked bad, I'm, I ain't going to go. But yeah, I just know how to maneuver my hair appointments around mm-hmm. my off days. So I asked that because like with the, with, the, with, with the nightlife and working wise from the bottle girl, so you don't work, you don't work a, a heavy schedule. And I know that because I asked, like I said, I asked a few people what the schedule was, and they told me, I'm like, yeah, none of them work more than three days. It seemed like three, four days. Um, so describe, like, working that and that kind of pace of money versus a John Deere or a factory job, you know, working two weeks, having, wait for, having to pay all these taxes, you know, um, having to be on time, having a certain schedule you don't like, eight hours. Like, what's the what's the hour range there when you, when you at when you at Oak? What's the hour range there, like? What, what, like how long you working? How many I mean, days you might work? I mean, you got people who work nine to five jobs like John Deere mm-hmm. who work what, about maybe five days a week. They work what, maybe 40 hours a week. As to me, I'm a bottle girl. I work three days out the week working with maybe four hours out the night maybe. I think. So or four more hours? sometimes, yeah. And I make more... I make the same or more as them. I seen when y'all when y'all was posting those um what's the name of the you know um I work at such as of course I da, 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 I, I seen those like the of course little mm-hmm. things I thought that was dope because people were saying that like you know of course I make what you make in two weeks in a night. Yeah. What's a what's a good night? Like what's and I say good I mean like like damn they was out there tonight like not an average night what's like a like a damn this is a good night tonight. And what's a what's a what's ooh, would you say is like a I should have stayed my ass home tonight. This is kind of or do you have those nights at all? A hundred dollars? Yeah, we made them one hundred. Well, I could have stayed home. <laughs> How often does it happen though? Like because not often. Like okay. we have our slow nights, but I mean we have people who you know gonna come support us. Be straight. So I do got questions about like just the the job itself with Bottle Girls, like, and it's just me. Like, I, I, one day I was just, I was scrolling, and I guess because I had followed some people, I can unfollow them now, thank God, because I got the episode done. But I was like, damn, you know, I wondered. I don't know what made you think about this because I've been working, I work, and I get I get frustrated, I get tired, right? What happens if you're tired? And like the camera mm-hmm. to come on, you're like, oh, go go right, go crumbly, go go crumbly. You just have to do it. That's, that's <laughs> like. Like you, you got a headache, you don't feel good. You, you know? just have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still do it. Like, yeah, if I'm at work and I don't feel good, you don't really know it. I mean, I might be in the back if I really got to be something like really some serious. Yeah. Some, yeah, I'd probably be in the back. But if I'm if I can stand it or something like that, yeah, I'm on the floor. Man, yeah, I, I want and then like, I know people like to give y'all um, slack for whatever it is. I guess they they try to think it's the great and whatever, but you know. Quiet as kept. You kind of got to be in shape to kind of do that job. And I don't mean shape like far like, no no pun intended, but curvy and all like that. I mean like stamina. Yeah. You know, because I feel like every time I put the camera on, I have to just start moving. Like, not I have to, but you know, it's like. Not even when the camera on, I mean, people are always watching you. Yeah. Anyway, in the club. So you got to always make sure you look like something, especially when we're on camera anyway. Because I mean, we do what a video of the club every time we at work for promotion. So. Yeah. What about that part, like the promoting part? Like, do is that ever? Yeah, like they like to do that to promote in the club. Or, yeah, that's um, true. You know, it's not a big deal to me. I mean, it's like it brings people to come see you. For me, like posting yourself, mm-hmm. people want like when they see me on social media. Oh, where you work at? I want to come see you there, or that takes me like, oh, I'm coming there to see you. Type shit. I, I, that's another good question I want to ask too. And I'm not trying to like get in your business like that, but I have this question because. For like it's something I always think about, because men um, or people in general, I ain't gonna say men, because some women do it too. It, it, it's this connotation that if 
you work the nightlife or you in a, you're a bottle girl you, or you're a waitress or you work in the nightlife, whatever, and maybe you dance a lot, whatever, that um, you won't find, like, love or you won't, you won't be able to get a man or per se, <laughs> whatever, right? <laughs> Which is really odd because most, most men are always talking to y'all, right? But it's not sometimes be those men that say that. But yeah. um, is that, is, it, how true is that? Do you feel like it's hard to find, like, something real for real for real because you they don't know if you want them just for your body or because they like you? Or do you feel like it's hard to find a man that's uh, because they may be insecure because you going out dancing every night and then it's like mad people that's trying to <laughs> holler at you. Probably that got a lot more money or maybe, you know, or just faster money. Yeah. I mean, it'd be a lot of that going on. Um, you got to find, like, somebody that really is okay with it and support it. Uh, everybody not going to be okay with it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it could be hard for some people. Um but it's up to you if you're going to let that dictate you or the man. I mean, but, a person like me, I'm not. Could I, I mean, So this is just me asking. Like, a person like like you, I'm going to just ask you, um, because of, due to what you're doing and the, like, the, the field you in, rather, not what you do, but the field you in, could you ever see yourself or think it's possible to talk to somebody that just got 9 to 5? Like, could you talk to that person? Or yeah. do you think it's, it's possible to have something with that person? Or do you feel like people are always gonna be insecure because? Nah, like, uh, like my second baby daddy, he was never tripping about it. Like, he was okay with it. So he ain't have no travel problems. Mm-mm. Like even when his friends would try to get in his ear, like, bro, you ain't tripping. She be in the club, dance for the niggas, and he be like, nah, because when she leaves, she come home to me, and we gonna count that money together. So he ain't never trip. That's sweet. That's sweet. What 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 about like? Cause you said earlier, people got in your ear sometimes. So when you say get in your ear, like about what, about dancing, like what what are they saying, and 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 what is what is getting to you about what they saying? Uh, back then, you just um, uh, everybody had everything to say. Oh, you're a scripper. You you, you know you dance for ones. You shake your butt in the club. Like they still say things like that now, but it just don't bother me now. Like back then. My skin wasn't as tough, and I tell anybody who have asked me about body girl, like, you got to have tough skin for this, based off just because if you're going to let the outside people get into, you know what I'm saying, your head, if you're going to let your relationship problems dictate it, because like I said, every dude ain't going to be cool with this. Yeah. Yeah, they might act like it at first, but eventually they're going to be, well, you know, I want you to stop. <laughs> Baby, what's here before you? <laughs> I'm going to choose this money every time, but... So if you're really in love with somebody, you wouldn't stop just because you love them. Like if you love them, like you in love with them, you wouldn't stop. Or, or do that, or, or do that to make a certain amount of money for you to stop. Because that's the. Can you say that? But if they make a good amount of money, you got to work. I guess you can stop technically speaking. Or you just love doing it. Like it's you like, like you like you like Mitch from Payton Full. Like you love to hustle. You love the game. Like you just want to. You want. It's <laughs> sweet. <laughs> like I love to hustle. Like I like it. It's easy. It's easy money. Like I've been offered a couple times. Like oh, if I pay your rent, would you stop? No. It's easy money, why not? That's funny. And I, 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 I like see, I like the the transparency there because I think the conception is that like people feel like, oh, you have to do this. Like no, this is all you can do. But the reality of it is you just like to do it one. Yeah, you know, you like easy. your own money. And then two, like it it brings where you don't have to do them more. People you probably run to people that are like, I'll just just come dance with me at home for the rest of your life. I will pay for everything. And you're like, mm, nah, I like doing what I do. I like being in charge of my own money. Like I like to make my own money. So. That's what's up, though. Like I, I respect the honesty. That's 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 funny though. She's like, nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not stopping. I don't give a fuck. Which I feel like you should accept me how I come. Yeah. And if I like doing this, especially if you met me doing this, why is it a problem? That's true. I mean, so accept I, me how I come. So that, that's a good point. So if if could you see? In the nightlife, could you see, like, is that how you would uh, meet somebody? Do you think you, you have to meet somebody in nightlife or you meet somebody, like, could you meet them at Walmart or Target? Like, you feel like you meet most of your people that you would deal with there? And then how does, how does, that, how does, that, how does that play out for you when you meet them there? Mm, not really. Because in the club, I don't really meet people. Because I might even say something to you. Like, if you say something in the club and that's what I'm saying, I'm not going to remember it. So, Yeah. Not, no, and, you don't got and, good and some people might say I'm a little stuck up in person because I've heard that just because I be kind of zoned out. Like I might see you, but I, I didn't see you. 
Yeah. I'm probably looking at my phone. I'm probably looking somewhere on the floor in my head, dancing somewhere. Like, I promise you, I'm not looking at nobody's face. Like, who that is? Yeah, so, and that's why I asked you earlier, like, the stuck up part, because it, most times people quiet, and then they are in a position of, like, I don't say popularity. People know them. People like them. They expect you to always smile and be happy, like, you know, and, and when you're not like that, they feel like you're stuck up. Yeah. So the general concession that was that was, is that you would be stuck up. Yeah, but I do smile a lot, but that comes from cheerleading. <laughs> <laughs> you had to do facials and smile a lot. So I, mean, I do smile a lot, and I be trying not to because some people might yeah. be talking to me, and I'm smiling, and they might say that as flirt, flirting, but I'm not. I'm glad you said that. So when it comes to, to that, right, how much of the job is, like, having to, like, not I hate to say fake because that's not what I want to say, but you have to act like, there's somebody. What do you mean like, 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 like you got, you got to make them feel important. Make, make them feel like they somebody. I mean, you know, yeah. ego. That's how you get paid, right? They start talking about money when they find <laughs> their man. Ain't it? Yeah, I tell you about a bottle girl and your dad is you sell a fantasy. <laughs> it rolled off a tongue wrong, but yeah, you dad to sell a fantasy. Okay, okay. So, how, how often is that taken uh, out of? I'm gonna say context. Like how often is like. You know, you're just doing your job. It's somebody like, hey, look, I, I know you was on me, you know, type, type. Like, do you, have to, do you have to turn a lot of people down or away? Because, like, I'm, hey, I'm just doing my job, bro. Like, I, I really don't care about you at all. Yeah, a lot. Because you have those people who want to see you outside the club, uh, who will offer to pay you outside the club, or I'll pay you to dance at the hotel. I'll pay you to dance at my house. This ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> Come see me at the club, and that's it. <laughs> You you wanna see me like if you wanna see me at the house, you can pay me to dance at the club. Okay, that makes sense. Is is it is it like uh, any club rules or regulations? Like, is this is that something? I don't know if I got a contract. I don't know how this stuff works for y'all. No, in real not in, in, in like the nine to five world rather. I don't wanna say real world because I I work the real world too. And I thought we gotta sign certain things. So something you just can't do if you work for a certain company. Is it is would it be the would it be uh reason to be terminated or like kicked out if you did go, like, you did go to somebody's house and dance on like that, or is it not, he don't care, or he don't never say nothing? Uh, mm. Or you don't know. I mean, you don't do it, so, yeah. you know, so you don't know, but I'm just saying, like, I would wonder if that's the thing, because then that's, that's the reason you're not coming to work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could just, just Yeah, I mean, home. if he found out that you done ditch work for something else, it's going to be a problem. Um, if it's something outside of work on your own time, he don't really care. Yeah. But if you're supposed to be at work, yeah, you're supposed to be at work, like, you got to treat the job like it's a real job. Like, we sign paperwork. It's, it, but it is, a real, it is a real job. You know, yeah. I, I hate even saying that because I don't look at it that way. I don't look at it like, you know, y'all not doing a real job because it's real money coming through there. Thanks. It's real revenue coming through there. People loud, like, he live a good life but owning these two clubs. Just like the, per, the person that own the mall or person that own a building, you know, they, they, they live a good life, you know, working these, working these jobs. So, but when, so what's like the, um, the, I guess I seen a post today and it said like it's it's four night lives. I don't know. I, I I took a picture of it. It says something about four night lives and it was like you got truth, you got oak. I forgot the other two, but it was like I think 3DL and then something else. What's like the hierarchy? Cause I know I know oak and truth are like like two top tier spots. So you feel like is there levels to like bottle girl into? Cause I know y'all have try you have trials and all that type shit there, right? Tryouts yeah. and all that stuff. So. I mean, everybody do tryouts now, I guess. Looks like. Looks yeah, chill like, out. <laughs> I'm not saying it in a bad way, but like most clubs are remodeling. So now they're looking into having bottle girls and things like that. Everybody's trying to improve, which is cool. Do it be bottle girl beef at all? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get you in trouble. I don't want to start no extra trouble. Nah, I'm okay. grown. You never get in trouble. <laughs> People say that, but they get in trouble. I don't know. You but know um, I mean, yeah, it be bottle girl beef sometimes, like about the money and all that. But. What about the money? What you mean? Like, well, how would y'all? Yeah, y'all don't y'all pick your money after y'all done? Whatever, doing, doing. Yeah, whatever? but I mean, like, you have to set set boundaries. Like, okay, if I'm making money right here and you're making money beside me, we need to keep our money divided. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, if it starts falling together, that means we need to divide this whole bag together. Like, that's how. Well, how it goes is if two girls are dancing together. Um, these dudes are just having to be throwing money on both of them at the same time. You have to collect all that money and then divide that evenly. That's the proper way to do it. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a little upset. That was me. Okay, exactly. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you. People, right? people feel different about it. Let, so. me tell you, let, me, let me tell you a scenario. I'm thinking, I don't be in a close. I don't know. I'll never, <laughs> I, I don't do it. But if I'm the, <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. Let me not say me. If a girl is like, it's more people obviously throwing more money at her. Mm -hmm. And somebody just start dancing next to you, right? Why would I split this money half with you? That's why you have to go ahead and stop her and pick your money up. Because I'm not splitting my money. They could be throwing more. So you want to stop mid, mid throwing and say, hold up. That's what I coins. suggest you to do. Because if you leave your money down there and once they throw more on top, how you gonna know what was yours first and what you needed to buy with her? <laughs> yeah. So what's best to do is go ahead and stop. Pick yours up so you don't have no problems. Man, listen, if I was like, uh, uh, not me. I'm just, I'm just having to say me. If it's a girl that's like unattractive, one or like that don't get like a lot of clients, I, I just keep dancing around y'all all night. Yeah, don't. Cause I'll tell you, girl, you around is... me like this ain't no partners. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so that's the rule. You gotta, you got you gotta share the wealth. You gotta cut it. Sometimes, cut it yeah. That we all beside each other, yeah. Cause I mean, sometimes I mean, it's better though, like. At my club, it's only three bottle girls. So, I mean, sometimes it's better to, for us to team up and, you know what I'm saying, go over to this section together. But this section might have, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of ones, like maybe a band or something. Mm -hmm. It'll be, you know what I'm saying, it'll be even if we all go over here together and make the money rather than one girl go over here and make all this money by herself. And then you got these two upset because they ain't make no money. Yeah, okay. So it's only three, y'all? At Oak, yeah. Okay. That makes, so I don't know the landscape of things, so that makes sense. So... How many bottle girls do you need a night? Just two, one? Like I mean, on nights we work, we all work. Unless they say, like, oh, it's slow, we only need one. Okay, because every night not an eventful night. Every night is not that. Like It's like you got some that's like, I guess, yeah, analytics tell y'all that this night is where they spend more money than this night. Or you got, like, I think, if I'm mistaken, like, then they used to run it out and do certain things like jazz night or something like that. Or yeah, some, one point. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not going to be there for jazz. That'd be kind of crazy, yeah, right? We yeah, we weren't there for that. <laughs> yeah, dancing for jazz is kind of insane because y'all can get them on. They ain't, they it's ain't like Saturdays. Like Saturdays is 30, 30 and up. They don't really care for the bottle girls, the grown folks. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to say the grown folks because I'm grown too, but the older grown <laughs> folks. Like, yeah. We worked a couple Saturdays. You know, you got those women. They looking at us like... Girl, they y'all doing too much. <laughs> they feeling some type of way. So yeah, we just we weren't making no money all day yeah. night. So it was like, yeah, y'all don't need us. I the white chicks can walk the bottles. I saw a video yesterday. Now I, I, I meant to write it down, but I didn't. I saw a video yesterday, and it was like, a, 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 I, don't, I don't know if it's a bottle girl. I don't know what everybody is in that. People are dancing sometimes. Cause some of the waitresses like bottle girls to me. When I be looking at that thing, like, damn, she look like a bottle girl. She's mm -hmm. a waitress, but whatever. Maybe she. Ain't, I, I I got a question about that. I'm gonna get back to that in a second, but. Um, this lady, old lady, I guess. I don't know if you've seen it. It was like yesterday when I saw the video, and today I saw a couple of times people sharing it. And she was like, she got kind of like nibbled on the girl's butt and I like kissed her butt or something like that. I don't know why. The girl didn't seem to have be bothered with it. She even smelt it. I don't, I don't know what was going on. But um, I seen people sharing it saying like, damn, you know, a man even get behind y'all. It's crazy. But this girl could <laughs> take a bite and take a kiss or whatever. I should have just, I, I'm going I'm to send it to you after this. But um <laughs> What's the rules there? Because uh, I do know that that be the case. Like, any rules? Like, I guess y'all can't be touched, or y'all can be. I don't know what's the, like. What's the rules? Like, what's the rules for touching or interacting with a bottle girl? I mean, uh, security's always around. So if you're uncomfortable, you can let security know. Uh, we're real cool with security, so most of the time they know just from a look that we're uncomfortable. Um, I mean, of course, we're a little more friendly with women, but yeah, I've had have had situations where females will kiss my behind too. I ain't gonna lie. Did you um, say what, what, what do you? Say? Yo, I have. I be you. laughing because okay. I think they funny. So, so what, what when a guy do? It's not funny though. Guys don't really go that far because they know like you now you out of pocket. <laughs> oh, Tom, hold on. <laughs> I got hold on. Tom. So how come the girl could, could, could do it, but the guy can't? I really be looking at her too. Like, okay, <laughs> no, you a little freaky. So, so when, you, when, when when a girl do it and you make that look, the, the security guard don't come over there and do that. I mean, yeah, they do, but they be looking at you like, is it a problem type thing? And yeah, and yeah, I give them the nod, so I'm good. Like, yeah, like, but, if, but if it's a guy, right, she do it again. Uh, like, I give them that here. look. Like, I should do it again. Now she got. <laughs> <laughs> Let her do it again, yeah. Says on tour, but. I, how far is too far? Like, what's too, what's what's some things you just like? Hey, look, you going too far now? Like, uh, I, I feel like I don't know. Like, I I only go on video what I see. Sometimes I see y'all be y'all do y'all thing, and then you got people like they might slap y'all butt, whatever it can be. And you got some people that like I feel like they trying to like, like touch up y'all thigh a little bit. Like I don't know, they be kind of touching a little bit. So like, what? Yeah, like, what's I ain't too going far? for that. Don't be trying to touch y'all on my 
No, no, square. You know, you're going too far. <laughs> I'll let you know. I don't even play that smack and hard thing on my butt. Don't do that. I really, I really don't even care for people to smack my ass too funny, but I, I mean, I don't really be too bothered by it. But yeah, you have them niggas sometimes, they be trying to give it all they might. Like, <laughs> your I can't life. let you know, like, I don't mind to hit your ass. <laughs> Cause that hit me so hard. <laughs> Oh boy! Wait, yeah, so some of be tripping. How was that talk like? Is it like a pep talk? Is it like? Nah, I don't be pep talking about it. You just start fighting? Nah, I don't be fighting. I just tell them like I, I say what I just said. Like, all right, we got one more time now. <laughs> Speaking of so, so y'all you don't you don't have you don't have issues like you, you got to fight at the club or anything like that. Y'all don't be doing that. I mean, I hear about stuff, but obviously it's not via y'all. So y'all have, y'all be good though. Yeah, I mean we have we, we've had a couple issues. Employees have issues, but I mean I just stay within the club. As mm-hmm. long as don't get physical, you be straight. But yeah, Stokes don't play that fighting well, employees. Yeah, see, I mean, it's just perfect. Yeah, some some interviewers just do good. You're doing a good job because <laughs> I wasn't gonna ask you about him, but I, I, I and I know you ain't gonna say nothing, nothing crazy or nothing wild. So like, what is it like working with him? I I, I hear you know you have both. He a businessman, so I know you're gonna get both sides of it because people be on the on the negative side of business. I gotta I gotta fire you. You yeah. gotta go. Yeah. You, you, you too fat. You know, I don't know. Like, whatever no, it is, we, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but that's the reality of it. Y- yeah. Y'all selling fantasy, right? Yeah. Well, the, the, the reality of it is some of them fantasies don't come with that kind of weight. Facts. Just be honest, you know? Yeah. I might like you outside. I might like your picture on Instagram, but, you know, I'm not trying to throw ones at you. Yeah, I mean, um, you're a little blunt about it. If you need to, you know what I'm saying? You might say shape up. He ever told you shape up? He ever told you, like, hey, look, you, you, nah. uh, you was you 10 pounds light, 10 pounds heavy this week? Mm-hmm. No? You, I mean, he told me when I, um, I lost a little too much weight. I had ended up going through a little situation, a little depression situation. I lost weight. And he said something to me then, like, all right, now you're getting a little skinny. Get happy. But, yeah, that's about <laughs> it. He never told me nothing like that. <laughs> a couple of people had told me about that back then, though, and I had to get right. Yeah, you can't be curvy, crumbly, and losing weight. It, just, it, it don't, it don't it go don't together. It don't work like that. But, but yeah, I, I'm back now. So. I, I do like, though, like, because I don't know him. Mm. I do like... Um, I know people like to talk about it, I guess, if you know him, but I like how he do his social media. I, I think it's cool. I don't know him like that. I, and I don't really, you know, it's, it, it don't bother me. Cause I'm not in that world, but I think it's a dope seeing him, like, address certain things sometimes, go do videos. Me too. The statuses. Because <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't get that nowhere else. You don't yeah. get to see the owner. To, the inner, he don't interact per se, but sometimes he will. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he be on the bullshit. He don't have to do that at all. He could just, like, not say nothing at all, and it, in, in two days it's, it's gone. Right. I like him addressing the rat, like, it's stuff that it's just funny to me. Like it make it make. I don't like partying, but it made me want to go to Oak sometime. Like I just gotta, I, you know, I just want to go see how like because I like his demeanor. Um, is that is that does that play a part in you like uh, working in and liking it there and staying there? Because I, I hear you hard to deal with, but then you've been there for a while. You've been around for a while, so like, what's your um, take on him and as a I guess a business owner and manager type thing? I mean, he cool with me. I don't have no problems out of him. Like. As long as you do the right thing and you don't give him no bull, he ain't gonna give you no bull. Like he always been cool with me. You give what you get type thing with him. Is it a pipeline in there? Like, is it like a pipeline to certain positions in there? Because the bottle girl is the is the to me. I don't know. You tell me I'm tripping. Besides Stokes' position, would that be the top position in the in the nightlife? Is it bottle girl? I mean, unless you really. got strippers there, of course. But is it a bottle girl? I mean, as far as like who makes the most money? I, yeah, I guess yeah. I mean, y'all guess. Bartenders yeah, too. Just, like, we have our managers and whatnot too. Yeah, but the managers ain't getting tips. They ain't, they ain't doing nothing. I'm not, no, no, just well, yeah, as far as making the money, yeah. then yeah, the bottom girls. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If I, I manage in real life, but I wouldn't manage no no nightclub. Ain't no way y'all gonna make, make, make more than me. And I'm telling what they do. No, that's crazy. Yeah. Do they get some of y'all tips? Who get tips? The managers. Do they get some of y'all tips? Mm-mm. Oh shit. We me. don't do no tip out. Mm-mm. Nah, if I manage, I gotta get ten percent. Nah, I'm sorry, you don't. Imagine I don't even know if I can sit down here, but if you don't shake no, you don't get no bag. So. Oh, no, nah, you can hurt. That's fine. But yeah, <laughs> so no ass, no bags. I got you. But but, but if I'm managing, <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, it's time to go out, time to go out. And y'all, they start throwing, I feel like, hey, y'all wouldn't get that money if I didn't tell y'all go out there. So I feel like I'd earn, I need 5% of that. Mm-hmm. I'd be a horrible manager. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably be taking y'all money. Because most of the time, you ain't got to tell us to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be out there. We already right? watching. Well, I know I'll be watching. You got to be on point. With it. Honestly, with about a girl, it's it's what you make it. Like, if you look at it like I'm here for the hustle, I'm here for the job, I'm only here for the money, that's what it is. What about so I talk about the pipeline. Is there a pipeline from like cause like you got people that come in there, so you might work the door. Mm-hmm. And then you like, cause let's let's talk about the person that's shame. Let's just talk about that person, right? It's like, uh, 
I want to do it, but I don't know if I want to do it yet. So they start at the door, I guess. It's like the more, I hate to use this word. I'm not dissing nobody, but like, I guess the, I'm going to say the least, the least, um, more respectable to some people. You work in the door, so you don't really work there like that. Okay, cool. And then you kind of scoot over. You start like waitressing, right? You start wearing less clothes, you know, and then you start dancing a little more. You start drinking, and you're like, you know, I kind of want tips. I want more tips. I don't want to just bring this food out. And say, no, you're about to go. Is that kind of a pipeline or just like, ain't no pipeline. You just come do what you want to do and you go from there. I mean, no, you can't really even slide down the line that easily. I mean, you can apply. You can say you want to try out or whatever the hell that you try out. Um, at Oak, we don't, we don't got no vacancy for bottle girls right now. So. I would assume one, one year I have to leave in order to, to get a you know, It's only yeah. three, y'all, so, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, so so when, when people trying out, it's, it's a bunch of them there for what I mm-hmm. see, and it just be one spot half the time. No, I don't really be one spot. He be hiring a couple of them. Oh, we see, but I only got three, so I thought it'd be like. Oh, no, at Oak, yeah, we... My team been locked in for over a year. Too, yeah. yeah, yeah. My team been locked in solid for over a year. Um, we've had other girls. We have added to their team, but it just ain't stay. What's the difference, like, between the truth and Oak? Like, what, what's the, cause they're right next to each other. What's the difference between the, the two? Uh, Oak is the restaurant, the lounge for like the older crowd. Mm-hmm. Um, truth is for a twenty one up, like more the chill spot. Okay, but you can smoke in Truth. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I know. I know. I know that part. Yeah, you can't smoke in Oak. No, but hookah. Okay. Okay. Is that so? In your decision to work at Oak versus Truth, is that does that play a part, or you just you just picked one and you just happened to? I prefer to just be at Oak, but I've been at Oak from the beginning. Like Oak used to be Esquire, and I've been there that long. So. Okay. 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 So it just changed names. Mm-hmm. What, what did it get? Did it get the same amount of business as Esquire? Is it like is this different breed now? Like is it a different it's animal different now? Different breed. It's very very different. People. What What you think? Breed. Talk to Mike for me, quick. What you think? Oh. What you think is the difference tonight? The rebranding, what you think is different? Is it because of the name? Is it because of Stokes making these videos? Is it because of y'all on Instagram? Like, what, what's different between when it was S-Bar and now it being Oak? I mean, we got more rules now, a um, little more structure back to back when it was Oak. I mean, <laughs> back when it was S-Bar, mm-hmm. he didn't really care. Like, you could stand all on the furniture and um, stuff like that. Like, you could smoke in there. Now, as a two, it's a restaurant. And you can't smoke in there. You can't stand out on the couches and stuff like that. It just has way more structure. It looked elegant, too, I mm-hmm. would say. It looks it definitely looks different. Do you think COVID hurt or helped? Because that mm-hmm. time away from the from the nightlife, I think everybody, not me, but, you know, a lot of people was itching to get back into it. Mm-hmm. So did that help at all? Did that help? Like, mm, No. I wasn't there for COVID. That's when I actually was left. That's why I said I left and came back a couple times. Yeah. I left during COVID because that's when I had my son. Oh, okay, okay. My see. second son. Okay. You, how many kids you got? Two. Okay, cool, cool. So you left during COVID. Um, but what you did? Did you work? What you did? Mm, yeah, I ended up um, getting a little security job at a hospital. You hated it, didn't you? A little bit. <laughs> 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 and I was pregnant, so they just signed me at the front desk because, you know, I can't do anything. So. What hospital is that? Is that the, the, um, the main one? Yeah. Oh, wow. MC, the MCG, GRU, whatever it is mm. now. How was that for you? And I, I, I want to ask that question because obviously you, you're known at this point now. They know you. They know you as whatever. You I know? hated it. All I talked about was going back. <laughs> they always ask, like, well, you going to go back and be here, your baby? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> when the time is right, I promise you're going back. So what changed, what changed for you? What changed for you the fact that you can have them conversations out in public or whatever about going back? I know I want to go back. I want to go back. Versus when you first start, like, I need to get a body here because they saying I'm, I'm a bad mom. I don't think they said that, but they saying... You know, I I, I want to just shake. I'm doing this for money. I'm doing that. What changed in your confidence level to make you be like, I grew up. I want to go back. <laughs> I grew up. I knew about the money was better. It's easy. Yeah, now I got two kids, so I'm going to do what's best for me and them. Mm-hmm. Your, your kids, you got you got two boys, boy, girl, two boys. So um, is it ever a thing when people ask you, like, or do you ever wonder, like, how long you going to do it? Or do you, do you got a plan to stop? Yeah, I get asked that all the time. When I'm going to stop. Yeah, you got like an exit plan, I guess. Because how old is your oldest son now? He's nine. like 10, 10, 9, 9? Uh, I'll tell anybody I stop when I get ready. Uh, right now, body girl just fits my schedule, uh, especially with my second son. My second son um, is nonverbal autistic. So he doesn't go to like regular school. Mm-hmm. He goes to speech therapy, things like that. Um, and of course, I'm his mom, so I have to be open to his schedule. 
So me working at night works better for me and his dad's schedule to make sure we're in place for what he need to do. That makes sense. So um, I do want to ask that question real quick because I think this is month, is it? Um, how how was that, though? Um, My son being 9-11? Yeah, like just because uh, it's a little different because you got another son, right? Mm -hmm. So even I know like my brother has my nephew is um, autistic and uh, I know it's even harder to get people to watch mm -hmm. that child versus the other child. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a little harder. You, you gotta be you gotta really pay attention. You can't just be put them in a room and throw a TV on. But you can for because they like colors and stuff. But it's a little tougher. So like, what is that like? And then also like, how how soon was it before you found out? Like when you when did you find out? How old was it when you found out? Um, I think um, we started getting the signs like. But when a child started talking, maybe like, well, never by one and a half. Yeah, he would say little things, but you know, when the children really started talking, he never really started talking. Um, so his doctor then would start saying like he was speech delayed. And then as he was getting a little older, then he just diagnosed him as, yeah, he is nonverbal assistant. Um, I mean, yeah, it is different because I can't just leave him with any and everybody. And he's very clingy to his parents, um, especially because, I mean, it's worrying to think like, oh, he can't tell me if somebody hurt him or something. So I just prefer to, you know what I'm saying, leave him with people that I know he's okay with. And yeah. with the autistic child anyway, their vibes, you can just, I don't know, they don't vibe with everybody the same. Mm -hmm. So even if I might think this person's a good person, he might not be a good person to him. Like, mm, you, you just sense it. Like, yeah. he lets me know. And so I asked that question. I'm trying to like, I want to kind of tie things together. Though. I asked that question too, because, you know, like a lot of times people have their opinions on the bottle girls and stuff like that, right? As if y'all are like, aren't like regular people, you know? And it's like, yeah, you might go, you do this, you dance, you work your money, you whatever. But really when you're leaving, you come back and you're dealing with, you know, your son and you got real life things you're trying to deal with. You're trying to, because uh, definitely when you have a kid that's, that's autistic, it, it takes more time and more energy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you ever have days where, like, you just, like, I don't know, like, days where you feel defeated, like, damn, there's a lot going on, like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have my days, uh, but my, I mean, my baby daddy is a good support system because he had his days, too, like, so, I mean, we help each other, we be there for each other. Does it, it help, I guess, not having to work so many days, though? Yeah. So, whereas somebody, like, I'm, I was asking about the exit plan, I asked that more so for the 9, 10-year-old, like, um, not that anybody would know, but you just never know. Like, do you ever wonder, like, okay, let's say three, four, four years now, you you still you know, like, do you ever wonder, like, somebody might say, your mom is such and such. Do you think that's gonna bother him, or you don't? You, you feel like it's like, eh. Uh, I mean, I feel like he gonna realize it one day, cause right now he don't like my sons don't even see me get dressed for work, so they'll it's not like oh, she finna go to work that's dope. <laughs> type thing. Um, I feel like it'll be mentioned to them one day type thing, or somebody might show them one day, but I don't think my sons gonna think now worse of me because mm -hmm. like my son think the, the world of me now like he think i'm rich <laughs> he say it because <laughs> <laughs> he get whatever he wants type thing like i don't think they'll think that bad of me like do you think it's ever something like uh that you feel like well, i'm gonna tell him first or you just like whatever i asked that question because i did I, I did do an interview with somebody who had only fans one time and it was only audio because i didn't want her face on camera because she got kids right yeah and because my, my thing and never like it's never really cute. It's always inf informative. And I asked about it. And she was like, you know, honestly, um, I'm honest with my kids, right? So if they asked me about it, I would tell them. Yeah. Right now they're kids, so there's no point in me telling them, right? Right. But I'm grown. I'ma tell them, don't do what I do. Do what you do what you do, you Thanks. know. And I had to respect like, damn, that's that's real, you yeah. know. And that's how I feel too. Like when he grow, because my son is very intelligent, he's very smart. Oh, there was time, I mean, I know eventually he's gonna ask. Or whatever he'll, he'll probably figure it out, um, and I mean yeah we'll have a conversation when it needed to happen. Yeah, so I, I, it's funny because I asked you said you mentioned like you came brought your brought your dad stuff to the school like da da da. Like do he ever ask like what you do like where you go to work at? He don't ask at all. Mm -hmm. The kids like, don't care. Long they give they want they don't care. I said Jed, I'm going to work. He'd be like okay bye I love you. <laughs> 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 I mean up. he'll wait for me to get home sometimes. He'll be up. He'd be like you made it home. <laughs> okay. That's, that's <laughs> But yeah, nah, he don't ask too many questions about that. Cause I have something that's on over my clothes, my my room anyway. So okay. yeah, they don't see that. But that's dope. Cause like, and I'm, I'm funny. I keep reading the movie. Even in Player Club, that's how I was. In Player Club, her son didn't. He would never know what his mom did. Like she was very 
um, strategic and when she picked him up, what she had on, how she was dressed. Like, you, ne- he never saw her in that light, you know? Mm-hmm. So only when somebody would know, somebody said, hey, this is what your mom doing, you right. know? <clears throat> but you got people that will do that out of spite for whatever reason. I don't know why, they just will. Um, so I do got, I, I want to ask questions just from people that, that, that sent some stuff, nothing crazy. Um, it said, what is, what is the typical night like for you as a bottle girl in a club? As far as like what I do? Yeah. Um, when I get there, I'm probably going to go in the back and, you know, make sure I'm up to par as far as my looks, my outfit's up to par. Um, I go out to the floor, see what's on the floor, if it's busy or not by the time I get there. If it's not busy, I go to order me something to eat. Probably going to take my pictures for promotions for, like, my outfit and whatnot. Um, my food, where I go to eat. Mm. Um, I might order hookah. Until I get busy. Most time, I'm just on the floor, though. Now, I'm not being funny. Now, I did see this on a video. So, like I said, I don't go in the nightlife, so don't. <laughs> just, I'm not asking nothing about it funny, but I seen this on a video. I don't know if it was comedy. I don't know if it was parody. I don't know. Did you see the video where it was like people going out? I don't know if they were stripping. I don't know if they was this. I don't know. But they had a woman in there trying to do smell checks, and they was like, hey, you got to go clean up or something like that. Did you see something like that? Mm-hmm. So I saw that a couple months ago. And I remember, I think he, I want to say he stoked my this shit. I don't know. It was going around. It was like viral for a minute. Mm-hmm. I see. And I thought that was odd. So I wonder, I wonder if that was something that happened everywhere. Because I, I think people said they don't do that at, in Augusta I mean, or not. We don't do smell checks. I mean, we have had to have, honestly, have had the health check, have to have had that conversation. Um, I mean, yeah, we girls. So we'll tell you, like, why, why, you, why, 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 why you just did that with your nose? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta I relax, if, bro. If I see some in the club, yeah. Oh my God, you gotta relax, man. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can't make that face. You, you can't have about. all us looking bad because they be ready to get on Facebook and talk about us. Oh, we don't that's need a, that. That's another. Good, well, how, how, how did that make y'all? Wait, they only talk about y'all like that, though. I don't think. Oh yeah, I don't never really take it to an offense. It's like for me to really want to get up there and argue, I gotta be really bored to want to engage in it or something like that. But I don't put that stuff in my. Yeah, but I've never seen them talk about like the quote unquote the bottle girl. Like they never. Not I, of oak, no. Nah, yeah. They don't really be tripping off us too funny. Why are you saying not of oak? Like what? what oh, never mind. I got you. Okay, because they, they do talk about it in other places. They do talk about it in other mm-hmm. places. Yeah, everybody not as organized too. So that's why I say sometimes you gotta give folks credit for to a, to a, to an extent because that part is professional there. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I say professional, I'm talking about like up the par. I don't right. know what am I doing in personal life. I don't know. But um, let me ask this next question. It says, uh. What are some of the challenges you face during a busy night? That's a good question. Damn, I didn't think about that one. Yeah, I should ask that question. Like a busy night, what's the challenge you face? Like, is, is it harder to to, to 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 grab the whole floor? Cause I mean, I'm pretty sure you want all the money. If you can get it, you want all of it. Is it hard to grab it? Is it hard to uh yeah. be on friendly busy, with every single person? On a busy night, it's hard to worry about getting your money and you have to also get the bottles. Like you wanna make, of course you wanna make good tips. Um, on a crowded night, you you might have people who want to throw their money everywhere. A lot of people like to do that, put on a show as far as throwing money everywhere. If it's crowded, the money's going to go everywhere. So you have to worry about as far as other people picking up your money. What would you That's do if you problem. see a man pick your money up? Oh, put, put that down. What if you don't see it because you're dancing? Oh, most times people tell sometimes, them. Sometimes most times we look for it. each other. Sometimes y'all be into it. Y'all don't be watching. Most of the time we're looking for each other. Oh, yeah, look out for each other? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he just picked your money up. Or, you know what I'm saying? I might go tell them, like. Put her money down. You ain't make that. You don't work here. What, what for just a dollar? You still got to put it down? Care. Every Every dollar counts. Yeah. Okay, it's what it is. I don't care. It's $2. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, but I, 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 I respect it, though. That's y'all money. Um, How do you interact with guests to enhance their experience? Mm, I be a little friendly. <laughs> just friendly, though. Like, you not really, you don't really care for real. You just, like, selling that fantasy? Basically. <laughs> 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 Cause I really be in the corner most of the time, like in our little station smoking hookah, until like, yeah, okay, I might see the ones going somewhere or something. You know what I'm saying? I might get up and dance a little bit, but I'm in my own world. Most of the time, they come up to me while I'm dancing, type thing. I'm, I don't really go around people. Is that so? I, I'm, I'm just curious. Is that odd or is that common? Like when you start dancing, they come around you. Are you like, oh boy? Are you like, yes, bring the money. Like which one is it? I don't be tripping like I'm aggravated or nothing. But it's like if you ain't bringing no money. Get away from me. What if people just record y'all? They they, they not they not really. I'm gonna dance money. a little bit for you. No, I'm saying they not they not throwing money. They're just recording you. Yeah, I'm gonna dance a little bit for you, but you're not gonna get like 
no good days. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. This ain't day. We ain't dance for free now. I mean, I respect, I respect it. I respect it. I'm surprised y'all dancing at all when they do that because y'all yeah, yeah, could just go to some, another part of the club. Yeah, you got to really know the difference. Like, let's say I'm bringing out a bottle. You might have those dudes who are some females, you know what I'm saying, that's making it rain. Like, they're throwing yeah. it. You should dance a little harder for them. You got somebody who, you know what I'm saying, you take the bottle over there and they're not doing nothing, just sitting there. They don't throwing mad money. Hard. Don't dance too hard. Uh, can you share any memorable experience you had working in a club? Like, what's, like, most memorable experience you had working? I'm pretty sure you had some good nights. Whether what, what, what it was like the amount of money you brought or just an event, maybe a star was there. I don't know. Maybe you. I've had a lot of good times in the club. So, I mean, I don't really have no particular one. Um, maybe the moment I felt like the most cared about was like my birthday last year. Everybody at the job kind of like pitched in for my birthday. Like I had a good night for my birthday last year. You know, I didn't get the night off. Nah, you can't get the night off. No, yeah. ain't, ain't no, ain't no birthday my nights birthday off in this lifestyle. Night. I had to work, so yeah. When your birthday? Uh, May sixteenth. It's coming up. Okay, yeah, cause I say tourist season is kind of coming up right now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm off this year, so yeah. Oh, this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how do you handle difficult or intoxicated customers? Like they're just doing too much. Yeah, I. Did you just make I, that, to a that certain extent, I can handle it. I might laugh in your face and walk off. You know. Try to defuse the situation, but if you're getting on my nerve, give security that look. Get away from me. Y'all just giving looks out there. Yeah. That's, that's how people get beat up in, in the club all the time. Yeah. Screw that. Screw that. Kind of crazy. I ain't going home because they, 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 they ready to fight. They don't time. really be beating people up. They they say they got to get hit first. Hey, I ain't never. I don't hey, get into right. that though. When I go, they people go to fight and I go the opposite way, but it ain't got to do with me. It ain't my people. You just start walking away. You yeah. Get, you get the look and start walking away. That's serious. That ain't got to do with me. But you get a look first though. If it's that situation like when they drunk and they need to be carried out, yeah. When security <laughs> get involved, I'm just gonna walk away. Cause you got it from here. Um, how do you balance your work life? I mean, balance your work with other aspects of your life. So I'm pretty sure other things you want to do, other things you probably got in mind that you want, might want to do or you want to dabble into. So how do you balance that? Um, I make it work. Like I, when I was going to school, I had my business as far as like school. If I had to go to work late. Uh, they understood that if I need to do my homework at, at work, because I like I would have to have my schoolwork finished by a certain time, they, you know what I'm saying, would make the right adjustments mm-hmm. to help me do that type thing. That's what's up. But uh, I, I have to, that's a two-part question. So what are some things that you want to do? Like, I know you say you're going to stop when you want to stop, and that's fine. But like, what's something that you always desire that you wanted to do? Or is there something you're trying to do? Like, uh, I guess I'm thinking about movies too much probably. I don't know. But like, you watch, I don't know, you watch, um, the Pink. What's the name of that show? <laughs> um, dang, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, that show. I know what you're talking about. All right. Uh, 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 I, 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 I'm trying to think, but you know the Valley, yeah. the P Valley. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, P Valley. Clap it up, P Valley, real quick. Right. Um, you know, in there, you know, they had that one uh, stripper who like wanted to have a dance school and all that stuff. I guess she saved up for what? I don't know. Whatever. You know, she saved up a lot of money. Is that something that you have in plan to do, or you just like you just kind of going with the flow? Do you think about that at all? You just feel like you gonna be young forever, so fuck it is what it is. I mean, nah, I want. I know I gotta quit one day, so I mean, I am making the right adjustments to quit. Um, I can go either way it goes. I do want to do something else with dance because I mean, dance is easy. Mm-hmm. A lot of people want to learn from me, and I mean, I ain't gonna say exactly everything I'm doing, but I mean, I'm doing something with yeah. that coming up. Type thing. Um, also got other stuff under my belt in case that don't work out. Like I'm medically certified type thing. Okay, clap it up for you. You didn't say that. You gotta lead off with that, right? Yeah. You gotta lead off with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not. You're not just a bottle girl. Tell them. Nah. You're not that. You know? nah, I graduated with honors. Oh, oh, clap it up for you again. <laughs> but seriously, I do feel like because sometimes people they, they will label you as just a bottle girl. And right. Sometimes, sometimes that's because that's what's in your Instagram too. Like it's say bottle girl, so you just yeah. say that. But you, you say you, what you say you do with us? I'm a medical assistant. Medical assistant. And then you're also a mom. You know what I'm saying? So it's like certain things I just feel like you, you can't just label them just one thing because they, they do multiple things. Yeah. So that's dope. Um, But like far, as far as the nightlife is concerned, like what are some things you think can help it evolve, if if, if anything? Or you think it's like it's to max where it's going to be at right now? What's something you feel like can change or some adjustments or do you have any... Ideas of owning your own club one day or something like that. Like, what's something that can help it 
evolve and be even better than it is right now? Mm, I don't think nothing helped it evolve. I mean, it's still going to be the way it's going to be. Like, you're going to have haters in this. You're going to have supporters in this. It's what you make it type of thing. Could, could you see yourself owning a club? Mm, sometimes. But, I mean, it's a lot of work. And then... You, I don't know. I, I wouldn't better do it like how Stokes do it. Why not? I, like all that. You how probably people could. be attacking me on Facebook. I'd have been writing them comments. He do be in the comments sometimes, though. I ain't never seen it. Now, he be commenting back. <laughs> I think one day I seen last week, somebody said they, he was kissing them, but it was another guy that looked like him in a club. Oh, I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah. I remember that part. But I'm talking about like how they be up there, like, just bashing him every time. Like, they're never satisfied. Like, I'd be able to send them folks to kiss my ass. Like, don't come to my club. You How know? you do it now? I mean, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure people say things that you probably scroll past. Like, you probably... Yeah, I scroll past all that. Like, he tell us, don't answer back to them folks. Don't say that to them folks. Oh, okay. I thought he had an oak army because sometimes people do be like... That's what they say. Y'all be then, sharing Then we stuff. got bottle girl warriors. <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> they be saying <laughs> they we click up. <laughs> <laughs> they be saying the bottle girls click up and whatnot to defend each other. <laughs> oh, do y'all? I mean, sometimes they do. I be chilling. I don't really get into the... I don't have bottle girl beef, like... We don't be having no issues, so. What you mean? Yeah, y'all yeah, have issues. So, I mean, you you talking the same club, of course. Yeah. Um. What about? So I know that social media, like, uh, do when you when y'all do like challenges and stuff. Is that is that y'all you want to do them or y'all get told like y'all should do the challenge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most have to do time, it. yeah, you get suggested like people be waiting on you to do it. Like when they know you dance and can dance, mm -hmm. they want to see you do it. So I, I I don't know I can't say I was I wasn't know if I was following people then but what the challenge they had when they I forgot it was and that surround Jones. sound oh yeah I did that, that was like the first one I feel like that just started like everybody not everybody but people been doing challenges of course mm -hmm. but that was like one of the ones that went kind of crazy and everybody started doing now it's a challenge every every month now yeah yeah y'all don't get mm -hmm. tired of challenges like all right now y'all gotta calm the fuck down a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I like dancing <laughs> like chill out a little man. bit tag me every fucking whip but it's time like I got one. people still tagging me in challenges now so they waiting on me to do but it's like I do it never like cause I yeah. dance all the time though but I just don't always be recording myself you don't ever think like and I don't know if there's something y'all can do but like I'm just thinking about ways y'all can get better like I'm pretty sure people do it like be like hey um Maybe make a cash app just for challenges. Like send this to the thing, and I'll, I'll try yeah. the challenge. I, I feel like I can it. make great. I can make great money, I and then just it. post it, and probably make money going viral too. You know, whatever. But um, yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot. And and I noticed there's a page in the, on Instagram. Um, I can't think. I guess the hottest, but they post y'all a lot. Post a lot of battle girls a lot. Like they, I guess they go to your story or whatever. Because sometimes when you go to the page, you don't see in the page it's in the story. Um, but that helped y'all too a lot with the promotion and stuff like that as well. Put your name out there, yeah. Publicity. Yeah. What, what, what do you think? I mean, if you had to rank yourself, I know you, you seem like you like to be the best at what you do. So if you had to rank yourself like far as like amongst bottle girls, do you think you one of them highly requested ones or you just like yeah. mid tier, top tier? Like, I don't know how that stuff works. I'm just asking. I mean, I, I ain't know. got the big head about it, you know, but I know my name up there at the top. People. I've been in it for a little minute, you know. And being there for a while, I guess that get that longevity. It helps a lot, like with people knowing who you are and, and or just coming to request you, regardless. Yeah, and I feel like knowing how to dance for real helps. What about dancing? Though you don't think you, you don't think that you could ever like, uh, or you don't think of doing like your own dancing class. Even now, I mean, you you could still do what you're doing and, and dance, or you could do that. You you could have a bottle girl class for you for other matters. Yeah, I, I think people want to do that. They just they just be they be nervous. They be scared to do. Yeah, I got some things popping towards that. Okay, I'm, I, 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 I see. I'm not gonna follow you, of course, but I, I do. I, I want to follow people. That I follow. I'm following, I don't want to see that. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't have to see, I don't want to see it. But I do think, like, I like when people um, want to want to uh, evolve. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you do what you're doing now, but you know you're gonna take that and do something else with it. I like that. Um, what What advice would you give to somebody who wants to be a bottle girl? Like, give me like the full advice because you know it's good advice and it's bad advice. It's dance advice. It's Mental advice is physical advice, you know. So, what advice would you give to somebody that's like coming to you, like, "Yo, I know you've been doing it for a while. I want some advice on like I'm thinking about doing it, but I'm a little nervous. I'm a little scared. Like, can you give me some advice on being a bottle girl?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> My advice would probably be to um, make sure you're doing this for you. Um, have tough skin, you know. Um, don't let nobody get in your ear. Stay focused. You know what to do. You come, your reason, you know what I'm saying, to do this. Uh, what else could I say? Mm, I 
know. What, what, I, mean, I, I know you said you went to some things, uh, even even in life, because like you said you had a, the moment when you were depressed. Yeah. With the job you got, uh, you could be depressed like if you can't lose weight. You know what I'm saying? But even then, like when you're depressed, how do you come perform? Like how do you, like, like so when somebody like saying playing basketball, um, they going through something in life, but this is this playoffs, they might get in the mode, listen to music, whatever, you know, boom. Somebody uh, go to work, regular work, they might drive, listen to music, or it might be something you do. What do you do when like, you just not with it? Like you like, F the day, but hell, you gotta make this money. I, like what, what, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I really don't be tripping. I might fake it. I mean, I have those days where I have to listen to my music too to get straight. Cause I mean, like I said, I like music. I like to dance. So once I hear music, I can start dancing. I'm I'm fine. Yeah, I'm not bothered by whatever is you know bothering me. Um, how can I put this? I want to. I'm gonna say bottle girl is kind of like made for me. Like it's my thing, but. It kind of is my thing. Like yeah. I just feel like when you're good at something, that's what you good. That's what you're good at. And if you're gonna do a job, you have to kind of be passionate about your job. With dancing, it's so easy, and I like to dance. Like this is what I do. Um, and I feel like I don't know how to really put in the words, but it was like chosen for me to do. Like I don't <laughs> feel like I can just go do hair. Like that's not my thing. So I don't need to like go try to do hair because <laughs> I'm a suck because that was not what the gift God gave me. Yeah. Dancing was it? Yeah, like I don't get as tired as like the other girl might get because like it's just easy to me. Her butt might not move like how my butt might move. Like all right, this all is right. my blessing. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, this is my blessing. That's, I think what's dope about everything you just said though, because like I said, I asked questions in the beginning on purpose. I asked some kind of questions to see and um. I don't I, I don't think it's nothing out the norm that you you're dancing because you you chill you were cheerleading. Yeah. That's something you like to do. Like you you know you're used to uh dancing and and it's a crowd there. You're used mm-hmm. to that. Now it's probably less in 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 the in the club than it is at the games because Burke County is a big stadium and y'all, y'all have big games out there. Um so that's good to know. I, I wonder that because I think the the idea is that people do it because they I'm gonna just be blunt when I say this. Because they promiscuous, mm-hmm. or because they freaks, or because they money hungry, which I mean, that's that's whatever. why I said it, it, it's what you make it. If you come into this with that mindset of oh, I'm just coming there for the money, I'm trying to finesse these niggas, I'm trying to do that. That's what's gonna happen, and you are gonna end up the trick, and you're not gonna be around long. Mm. I'm pretty sure over the years you've seen a lot of that too. Yeah, if you come there with that mindset, yeah, you gonna get in and get out. Because once you give it up, baby, they're not coming back anyway. Mm-hmm. What you, oh, hold on, no, 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 hold on, hold on. What you, what you, said, what you said. Once, once you give it up, what, what does that mean? Like, I'm define, saying, define, like, yeah, so you might have them thoughts that be in there doing more than the bottle girling. Yeah, that's not a good thing to do, because, yeah, if you doing other things with the customers, they're not going to come see you at the club no more. So you messing up your own money. Ah, I got you. I already knocked it. So like, mm. either one. Now I want another bottle girl. My, my focus now is there. You're saucy because now you feel like you own him, but you don't own him. Well, ain't no fantasy no more. You didn't. Facts. You, you can't sell. You can't sell what I done got already. Thank you. You know what it's like. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. That that that, that makes a lot of sense. That yeah, makes a lot of sense. Some. That might be the first thing you want to start off with. You give me mm. advice. Hey, don't yeah. don't just don't give it up. Bro. Like, <laughs> right. That's what you do. Have to tell. Don't do not sleep with the customers. It's like using your own product. You're not because you're messing your money up. You are yes. messing your money up because now exactly. it's no fan. And I guess too, the, the fantasy is like, I mean, we could be a blunt hair, like, yeah, you dancing and stuff, but in, in the, the consumer mind is like they seeing more than dancing. Mm-hmm. They sexualizing, of course, but once they get it, they don't have to sexualize no more. It's like I already got it now. Like exactly, I know what it's like. You know? <laughs> Even if they like it, it's like uh, I ain't throwing the money. Right. <laughs> exactly. I see how they later think. night though. <laughs> it's come through later on. Right. They gonna hit you after the club. Yeah. You made it that way. So what you expect? <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. That, that, I like that. that that's, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, this was this was a dope conversation. Now, nah, did you did you feel nervous talking? A little bit. Now, I think you did good though. So you know. I think you did good. I think I think uh but you spoke like from from a place of uh, truth, you know. Truth yeah. no, no pun intended. Place of truth. Um but I'm quiet, but I mean everything 1K. I don't really be lying. I know. I'm just saying. I'm tired. I'm a little blunt, so I don't really be lying. Well, how 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 heavy do you believe in zodiacs? I do a lot, but I'm just I'm, I'm curious because you said like three say, times. I'm so. gonna say a little, a little heavy. 
So you that person that's like, uh, when you talk to somebody, what's your sign? If y'all compatible, you just like, nah, I can't talk to you? No, yeah, no, nah, I don't believe that. Because people say you don't supposed to date your own sign. Me and my second baby daddy got the same birthday. Oh, that's, oh, damn, that's, y'all celebrating together this year? Uh, yeah, we're going to celebrate. Because I think, this will probably be our first, because we didn't celebrate last year together. Well, you we had to work. Beefing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you went to work still, and y'all beefing? Yeah, I mean, when we met. He must be a secure person, see? That's secure, because you went to work. When we met, I had to work. Like, that's when we had our first conversation. Like, I was like, yeah, it's our birthday. I'm going to be at this club. You know, come through. So, I mean, he kind of knew what it was from the gate, and he saw the first night. But y'all, y'all met at the club? Mm-hmm. So in person, he, like, I mean, he, I had saw him a couple times at other clubs, but, yeah, I never said nothing to him. But you liked him. Oh. Yeah, I'm a sucker for a dream. <laughs> So, but I mean, I, I mean, this is a question for like. So, when, when y'all started to talk, did he stop coming to the club? Yeah, he ain't come yeah, no more. So he like he would fan, come he sometimes. Fantasy, but see yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> he no more. Hey, so tell him from now on, don't mess with them because I'm living proof. They're not coming back to the club after they get it. I ain't even think about it like that. We're <laughs> sure you're right because he he don't come to my job. I mean, he don't come there because you can't smoke in there. He go to truth, but yeah, he don't come to my job. Yeah, so you go to truth because it's, it's probably some fantasies there, but you know I'm pretty sure he like you, so I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, and everybody knows that. Damn, it was a damn. I, I, you just said something. The question I want to ask, but I, I lost it now, so I can't ask it. Damn, <laughs> I forgot. You were just talking about something. I wanted to ask about what you said, but it's it's, it's fine. It's not it's not that important. Um, but yeah. So my my goal with with, with interviewing was this for just like I wanted to make sure I, I was able to address that so people can see firsthand. But like when it comes to the bottle girls and the negative connotations. Like, what do you want people to know about bottle girls that, like, maybe is not said often about them? Um, we were real hustlers. Most of the time, bottle girls with the right mindset, we're just using this to get to where we need to be. Most of us got degrees. Most of us, you know what I'm saying, got other things going on. We just, you know what I'm saying, using this as a stepping stone. We're not, everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying, hoes ain't trying to, Fuck our way to the top. Everybody ain't doing it for that. Yeah, and I think I would make the I would make the um the comparison to like even people in the street that do sell drugs or whatever. Everybody's not a gangster, you know. Everybody's not a killer. Some Thanks. people just get money, but they like the fast money, like the fast life. Mm -hmm. So yeah, every bottle girl is not promiscuous. Every bottle girl ain't out there looking for somebody to knock her down. They just like the fast money. If you can dance, that's your that's your pipeline to bottle girl. Like I dance, so I'm gonna do this. I just happen to have less clothes on now or whatever, and you sexualize me, yeah. but it's whatever. Okay, I can see that, though. That makes sense. I, I just wanted to, you know, my thing was just to kind of paint that picture, though, though, and I think that you did a good job of, of, of doing that. So I definitely appreciate you uh, for coming through. I think people are going to see this now, and I might get more messages now. I want to come on, I want to come on. Yeah. I still would do other people, like, because I think it's good to have multiple people doing it. I have mm -hmm. a serious just about girl, but maybe I just do only truth from old people. I don't know, because... I don't know everybody else like that. People be doing it, yeah, they don't do it, they off and on. Stay with us, you know? Stokes gonna have to holler at me. Huh? I, I interview Stokes, but I, I know he don't do it, but I, I do think that'd be a good interview. Why not? He might, he might just gotta ask him. Well, that's what you for, yeah. And now I got you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. Hook, hook me up. <laughs> you be out right tomorrow, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, Wednesday, carry up your night, you know? I try yeah. to edit now. I'm gonna try to edit night and put in, you know, send it to you, but you send it to me. I, I do think that um, I would like to have him on just, I don't, he'll see that I don't, I'm not trying to, Ridicule nobody. I, I ask real questions. I be really trying to paint a picture every time. He might need to do it so everybody won't think he's such an asshole. Well, he might. I'm an asshole. He might. You might not. You might not see it, but I am an asshole. He might be one. I you're think a cute he, dog. But he had to be an asshole when you doing business. I don't care if you're not. Yeah. If you're doing business, you're not you're an a asshole. Real boss man. You ain't making no money. I guarantee you. Thanks. Or you getting played. So I like it, but I also haven't never worked for him. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that's like. But I do know if you act like you might. Somebody say you know, man. You might say oh, I didn't interview. He was cool. Da da da. That's my say. I work with him. He's an asshole. You damn right. Get the work, motherfucker. Like, that's, that's what, exactly. That's what I'm doing. doing what you're supposed to be doing. And then everybody just have this little mindset that everybody having sex with him. No, we're not. <laughs> she made sure she say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. I do like that though. I like I, not not that y'all say not that. when they upset. They yeah. upset. So like, I didn't get. I didn't win a tryout. I didn't get to be a battle girl. I didn't get a nice side from him. But this or person you got a nice side for him. as far as in the chain as you thought. Yeah, but sometimes you're just not good. Or you're not that good. Yeah, or like I said, you gave that box up. So why do you, you do that for? kept it to yourself. Sometimes it would be too. They, they done did it, so they think that, that somebody else done did it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's up. Nightlife is crazy, man. Yeah, y'all out there doing y'all thing, though. 
I'm gonna keep. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna leave it to you. I like doing podcasts. I'm gonna keep doing this, but mm-hmm. you could do that too. You could. You could do a podcast. Do I do podcasts? You could do that. Yeah. Mm, I don't really know what I would talk about. Uh, being a bottle girl, you've seen a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure you. See, it's probably certain stuff I wouldn't ask you on here because I don't. It's not what. I, it's not what I was trying to convey. But I'm pretty sure it's night nightly things you see and saw that can be conversation sparkers. You know what I'm saying? That people are interested in. You know, like you probably have seen. Uh, sword fights with money or whatever, like people trying sword to. Sword fights. You know, it's like a, it's like. How a, you sword fight with money? Okay, well, that's funny you said that. I, <laughs> See, I, I, I meant like high. I meant like when I say it's a, it's a figure of speech. Yeah. Like two men. <laughs> like. Oh, like going back and forth. Money, it's not a real money sword. No, you know, like you know, no, like, money wars. Okay. Yeah, they say like uh, pull them out and let me see who. That's what I'm talking about. I you know, follow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, Kirby. Come on, you. <laughs> you got Look going at on. you. I already on the train, <laughs> Kirby. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah, this was dope, man. Um. I definitely appreciate you stopping by. Um, I'll try to edit the night and put it out if I can, but you know, we'll try and see. But definitely. Yeah, I wouldn't see because I feel like I look high. Now oh, you look, by your, when you are, so you probably look high. I ain't a teller, you know. It, you smile, you got a good smile, smile for the camera. See, there you go. Ta da. Whatever that is, that's what's up. Yeah, definitely. Clap it up for uh, Raven C, BKA, Kirby Crumble. Shout out to her. Tell them uh, where they can follow you at and if they want them to follow you and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. You can follow me on Facebook at Raven Crumbly, Snapchat, Kirby Crumbly, X, uh, IG, Kirby underscore Crumbly. You know, it's on the back of my shirt. You know, I'll show y'all. Okay. Well, you could. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you I ain't trying to say turn around like that. I'm just saying if you want to show them, you can turn around. Oh, yeah, you're not going to show them. Hold up. Let me get this. All right, man. Morning Masters Podcast. We out. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was good.